Coming off the Walking Dead season premiere, I didn't think I would be saying this, but I would call episode seven the most seductive Negan episode yet. Well, hello. Full spoilers for The <laughs> Walking Dead. Episode seven, sing me a song. So if you haven't watched it yet, you have that great tease uh, to get you excited watching it. But but Jim, you know, we have been critical of elements of season seven so far. That's we, fair to say. We both did like this episode, and yeah. I, I think maybe me even more than you really liked yeah. the side of Negan, who we met. He is a very charming guy. He almost seemed remorseful a couple of times. Uh, I never realized, he made me realize how much I love Olivia now, thanks to his little uh, offer to her. But yeah, 50% let's, more into her now. There's a lot of other stuff that happened in this episode. Obviously, we're leading into next week's uh, mid-season finale, and we'll have a bit of a hiatus after that. But let's focus specifically on Negan. What did you think was so interesting about the depiction we saw? Well, I think this is his best episode yet since his his introduction at the end of season six, um, and that was only, what, 10 minutes. Um, this- I thought you were like 10 minutes ago. I was like, yeah, yeah that's what yeah. it feels like. No, it. Um, <laughs> but I think, that, I think that this episode, it did get to showcase him more th doing other, uh, always in charge, always Negan, but a few moments where you can maybe get a peek behind the curtain at the wizard. Um, I don't think I quite buy him being remorseful like you do. I think he's charming you as he does all these people. He's a sociopath and ultimately it's all about him. But I do think that there, he can sympathize with somebody, but he can't empathize. And those are two very different right. things. And I think he, so his moment with Carl was great. Well, the entire episode with Carl, uh, but I did like that scene where Carl breaks down and he had already given him the thing of like, don't bust my image of you. You're a badass. Right. Don't, you know, and then for him to see just a boy who's crying after being I had to go back and rewatch that. I was like, I, it just took me so off guard. His response there when he said that, I was like, you know, what, you're right. That's exactly what it was. And I think... I think part of it is a power play, but I knew just coming into this arc, people hold the relationship between Negan and Carl in the comics to mm. such a high regard that, you know, they really did have to do it justice in this episode in particular. I think they did a great job in, in ha having a Negan have the exact opposite response you expect him to have when Carl jumps down with the machine gun and starts mowing down yeah. saviors. And to s question as the viewer and try and understand, like, n what does Negan see in Carl? He sees himself, I think. I think, I think he, see, he sees some of it himself. Like, I love that line, and I think it's straight from the comics when he says, you know, you're turning into a little serial killer. Like, he finds out that Carl had to kill Lori, and that's why. Yeah. But also, I think, I think it's deeper than just a power play for Rick as much as the final scene in this episode set up some uh, like yeah, Rick power play for Negan or Rick. Uh, Negan over Rick oh, yeah, like yeah. you know I have your son I've mm -hmm. sort of seduced him and charmed him but I think he also a little bit in his head wants to convince Carl like look at this great thing I have going on look at respect like yeah, look no, at he, look he, at how great I he, am I'm he a hero. wants him he wants him to like him in a weird way, like he wants, it's not enough to be feared, you also want to be loved. It, it can be a very one-sided thing, he just wants their love, but he likes that, he likes, like even when he kind of turns to me, he's like, are they still on their knees, like they're still nailing? Right. Um, it's things like that, and I think he sees in this kid, like, his kids get cojones, and he could grow up to be someone like me, you know, and I think the idea of seducing, he seduced away men's wives, well you seduce away a son from a father, that's an even bigger coup, you know? I mean, that's that psychologically, if everything is about breaking Rick, well, you take that one last thing, the thing almost made him deform, you know? And I mean, I think that's gonna be the most dramatically interesting, challenging stuff coming up, hopefully. And I think we've heard the idea of Negan is the hero of his own story when yeah. people are talking about Negan's arc, but this is the first time we really saw it. Like, he was, just created to be an immensely hateable character, no matter how much fun Jeffrey Dean Morgan is clearly having play him, because yeah. he is chewing every scene. Like, he's oh, clearly yeah. so, having That's such nice. a blast as Negan. But this is the first time I think we got, like, a true glimpse at the man behind it, as much as you think some of it is still yeah. an act, and I think I do agree with you. I think this is the closest we got to sort of seeing an intimate portrait of who Negan thinks he is, yeah. which is an interesting distinction between well, who Negan actually a lot, is. A lot of, you know, mob bosses, and because he kind of runs his operation like one, they they see themselves as 
the good bad guy. And, you know, to him, he probably thinks of himself as some sort of Robin Hood, maybe. But, you know, it's interesting that for Negan, the zombie apocalypse is probably the greatest thing that's ever happened to this right. guy. Like, he's having the time of his life. He this gets is, multiple wives. Yeah, he's got, <laughs> and, and he, people, like, for all you know, back in the day, he was just some guy who was punching a clock or uh, offloading cargo or whatever and being told what to do. And now, look at him. He's a king, you know? So, and, and I think... Uh, Jeffrey D. Morgan's performance is showing that here's a guy that's like the bar is open, it's happy hour, and I always and I know I'm paraphrasing him, but he always gets to eat and drink for free. Right. Uh, I do also want to bring up my favorite scene, the Carl uh, breaking down and Negan sort of apologizing scene is my second favorite. Uh, Olivia's my third, which like breaks my heart because <laughs> I loved that scene so much. My first favorite is uh, is the scene where we see uh, Dwight's wife, who you know we've gotten to know as a character a little bit. Negan calls her out and says, "You like me a little bit," and we see for a moment. She does. Yeah. And we talked about this a little bit right when I finished watching it because you'd watched it before I did and you were like, it's the same. She is the audience surrogate there because yeah. in that same moment and there are other moments in this episode, we're like, you know, I do sort of like him. And then you remember he's Negan and everything that yeah. comes with that. And I think that that is really fun and, and something really that The Walking Dead did really well in this episode. Yeah, and it needed that. It needed something where, you know, because also in this episode, you're being told why Rick is a good leader. And this one... You're well, showing no, I it. think you're being you're well. Yeah, the that whole scene a with, <laughs> with Gabriel and all that, but like right. you know, the 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 one of basically the idea of like, well, remember, Rick's the good guy. He's the hero. Sure, he's got flaws, but I think when you see somebody like Negan and you see the way he charms and the way he seduces people, you understand that he has a skill set that Rick doesn't have. And if Rick was maybe a little smoother maybe things would have gone a little better for the group. I don't know. Yeah, so we really liked the portrayal of Negan that we saw in Sing Me a Song. I'm very excited to see who's going to pull a gun on Negan first in the mid-season finale this whole episode. I was just watching it being like, and you want to kill him, and you want to kill him, and you want to kill him, and you want to kill him. Uh, so very intrigued to see what comes next week. We are not going to have a video up immediately after the episode next week. Uh, we're going to have to watch it live like, like everyone else in the world. So stay tuned for another conversation our thoughts on The Walking Dead the Monday after the season finale, mid-season finale airs. But for all things Walking Dead and comics, keep it here at IGN.